Yes, so hello guys, welcome back to another edition of Sports Update Ghana. My name is Joseph Adam Afio, and coming up in this edition, well, the Black Stars would have Edin Ketia and Callum Hudson Odway in their squad for the 2022 FIFA World Cup after the Arsenal star finally acquired his Ghanaian passport ahead of his switch to play for Ghana at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Also, coming up in this edition, the Ghana Football Association General Secretary Prosper Harrison Addo has revealed that the GFA are close to finalizing their appointment of Coach Otoado as the substantive head coach of the Black Stars along with the technical team of the Black Stars. Well, all this and more coming up here on Sports Update Ghana. Please subscribe, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment. So quickly, let's begin with players who are likely to feature for the Black Stars at the 2022 FIFA World Cup because Arsenal star striker Edin Getia has finally acquired his Ghanaian passport ahead of his possibility of switching to play for Ghana at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Edin Getia is one of the players that the GFA are pursuing to get to play for the Black Stars at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Earlier in the month of April, the player was reported to have started the process of acquiring his Ghanaian passport which is part of the requirement for the player to play for the Black Stars. Well, it turns out that the Arsenal star striker has finally acquired his Ghanaian passport and it was confirmed by a credible source at Arsenal who is the chief writer of their website, Chris Whitley. And this was what he had to say on his official Facebook page. Well, Chris Whitley wrote, I think it here is close to switching his international allegiance to Ghana after being granted a Ghanaian passport. Chris Whitley an accredited or a verified Facebook holder said on his official page. So there you have it. Edin Ketia might be playing for the Black Stars at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Edin Ketia has gone through the ranks of playing for England's youth side, playing at the under 19, under 21, under 17. But when he got to become a professional player, the English national team have not invited him to play for the Three Lions yet. Well, it turns out that Gareth Southgate, the head coach of England is lining him up for a possibility of fishing in a friendly match that could hamper his desire of playing for the Black Star. But turns out that the player is set or has made up his mindset to play for the Black Stars. I think Ketia is one of the good goal scorers at Arsenal right now. He scored a brace against Chelsea in the Premier League, and weeks later, he scored a brace again against Leeds United in the just past weekend and thank you that well I think Ketia inclusion in the blaster will be very very solid to give us a strong attacking lineup and well I can't wait to have the player in the blaster he himself has confirmed that he's open to play for either the Black Stars or the three Lions of England well anyway by the time we get to November December we will see if I think Ketia would possibly switch nationalities and play for the Black Stars but let's go ahead and do some more and still staying with the Black Stars well another player who is likely to play for the Black Stars is Callum Hudson Audrey and I have credible news that well the player could switch nationalities and play for the Black Stars as well so Ghana might be having two players from London one from Arsenal and one from Chelsea play for the Black Stars at the 2022 FIFA World Cup well According to a British entrepreneur named Khalid, well, who's also a supporter of Chelsea, he has confirmed on his official Twitter page that Callum Hatton Audrey might play for the Black Stars. And that was what he had to say on his official Twitter account. He wrote, well, Callum Hatton Audrey has decided to represent Ghana and put out a picture of Hatton Audrey and Kitia switched to represent Ghana. And this is one of the posts I know will give you goosebumps and smile and I know that well definitely if God shines good luck on us we are going to have Callum Hudson Audrey and indeed get here in the Black Stars all these players play for England's youth side but unfortunately when it came to the national team they've been overlooked well for Callum Hudson Audrey he has been fortunate to have featured twice for England but well due to the new FIFA rules on player switch nationalities or naturalization issues well turns out that a player could switch nationalities after 90 days and by November if Callum Hudson Audrey has not featured for England in any match yet well it means that he will play for the Black Stars and this are the news that we like to see well one person who had played a key role 
and ensuring that well Callum Hudson Oldwood will possibly play for the Black Stars as Ghana's 10 card advisor Chris Hutton and well at length he has been doing a number of works behind the scenes and all that well we'll see how that one goes back to the appointment of the technical team of the Black Stars as well as the head coach well the general secretary of the Ghana Football Association Prosper Harrison Addo has confirmed that the GFA are at the final stages of appointing coach Otoado as the substantive head coach of the Black Stars coach Otoado led the Black Stars to qualify for the World Cup in Qatar after eliminating the Super Eagles of Nigeria in the playoffs of the World Cup in Abuja well after seeing through his contract as the interim head coach of the Black Stars well the GFA have now mandated or have the responsibility of appointing coach Otoado as the substantive head coach ahead of the World Cup and Ghana are also set to take on Madagascar in the 2023 AFCON we can't go into that qualifiers without a substantive coach so well the GFA have to fast track their negotiation with these coaches and it turns out that well the GFA are doing just that speaking to the general secretary of the Ghana Football Association that is Coach Paris and Adu he told me that well the GFA are the final stages of appointing or announcing Coach Otoadu as the substantive head coach of the Black Stars. Let's listen to him in this particular interview. The um, final stages of the engagement, um, the thing is that we, it is no secret that every Ghanaian, and um, if I say every Ghanaian, I'm using that advisedly. I'm not saying that every single one of us, there's been a research and uh, we've said that we, we, we want uh, uh, the collective unit of the uh, coaching, the tanker staff that uh, qualified us to uh, Qatar 2022 to lead the team. But once you find the number one person, and the majority of Ghanaians um, saying that we want to keep this unit together, um, the executive council and every uh, the ministry and everyone involved uh, as work uh, to this point where we are very close to um, tiring every knot and then we announce to Ghanaians that the, the work on that uh, uh, quest is, is completed. Uh, but as I, as, as I speak to you, everything is very positive and so the coaches are doing what they need to do and the FA uh, is also doing what the FA needs to do as we uh, work out to June 1st when we play Madagascar at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. So that is Prosper Arsenado, the, the General Secretary of the Ghana Football Association. I, in fact, wanted to ask him a question about the possibility of having the likes of Callum Hudson, Audrey, Tabi Lamte, Mohamed Salisu, and Edin Ketia all in the blast as well as the Inaki Williams, whether uh, the Black Stars uh, coaches have met them or these players have contacted the GFA in one or two ways but unfortunately well you know journalists people want to ask their questions and all that so I couldn't ask that question but well I will try and make sure I get close to them to make sure that I get uh, more info so that I can brief you here on Sports Abigail so you know what to do please subscribe to the channel like share and don't forget to leave a comment